Why are we removing so many people that voted from our voter rolls? These are not active, inactive, or dead. They actually did vote. If they claim they moved away, then there's a mass exodus from our state. So I'm just curious to know, have we seen a bunch of folks that have been removed from our voter rolls from the 2020 election? I mean, is there? Well, so there are a lot of reasons that people would be vote because for inactivity. And so there's a, there's a day, what is it after the election that we have that drop down, right? It's March or April because they've been inactive or they've unregistered and at that time they would come down. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people will unregister to vote if they move away. A lot of college kids will do that. It's not necessarily, if, whether or not it's a mass exodus, you got to, you got to marry the data. Voter registration is not a re necessary reflection of population. Mm -hmm. So a lot of folks who use that number is basing on census data. Mm -hmm. Well, that's including minors and non-U.S. citizens. That is completely separate than the voter rolls, which are U.S. citizens and of the age of 18. So if, when you have people unregister, sometimes they re-register because I voted, but then I got married and my, my name changed. Mm -hmm. And so that looks like they came off, but they actually changed their name. So is that part of, and I, I know just enough about this to be a little bit dangerous, is that part of the, the Elvis system? No. No. Uh, the, the Elvis system is our data that we host that populates the poll book. Mm -hmm. And after Help America Vote Act, it, part of the compromise that Congress had when they passed HAVA was the poll book must be in real time. Mm -hmm. So that if you're registered to vote in Shawnee County and you move to Sedgwick, the moment you register in Sedgwick, you come off in Shawnee. Okay. And so to do that, you had to have a centralized system. Prior to that, there was no centralized system. Mm -hmm. Every county had their own. So you mentioned about hosting, about you know us hosting that. Who who does host that? Like we we partner with a company called ESNS, and it's in a secure location. And I, it's a, lot, a lot of that's classified. I can't show because once we start telling where our data is, people know how to manipulate it. But we partnered with the ESNS. They wrote a proprietary program for our office and for our state. But you don't think then that was hacked into at all? Oh, no, no. It wouldn't have been. I would have been in the Fusion Center within moments if that had been hacked. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you.